it was just an amazing moment. It's definitely something you won't forget. I've never been a part of, of something like that. I've been a part of a lot of really big games, but that kind of uh, atmosphere, tears flowing everywhere, it was incredible. I'm a winner. 16-year-old Aaron Agasanachi is a winner. I'm a winner to get that basketball thing. I, get, I won the basketball ball. Born and raised in the small town of Lapine, Aaron was diagnosed with autism as a young child. He is an absolute joy to be around. He's one of the most outgoing kids um, that we have in the program. He's always making you laugh. Cheer for me, hooray! Jaron Kuhn is the junior varsity basketball coach at Lapine High and Aaron's life skills teacher. Over the past two years, he's had a first-hand seat to watch Aaron's love for the game and dedication to shoot endless baskets develop more and more. He's obsessed with basketball, anything basketball. We even uh, put a hoop outside the classroom just so he can go out there and, and shoot around a little bit. And he's begging us every single day to come down to PE and jack him up from half court. He won't even get near, near shooting a layup. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Like half court. Half court? Yeah. After seeing Aaron's dedication, Jaron and the life skills teachers asked Aaron if he'd like to be part of the JV team for the 2021 season. It was like, Fantastic. Jaron and the rest of the team were hoping for an opportunity to get Aaron into a game. And during the second last game of the season, the Hawks found that opportunity. We were all pretty excited for it. He, you know, he sat there, he, he loved watching the game the entire way through. He was laughing when anyone would do anything funny, fall in the crowd, whatever, he loved it. Um, Half time he was shooting around, kind of practicing, getting warmed up, and then once we finally got him in, you know, you, you could see from the video, he was jumping up and down, freaking out. Aaron subbed in with just over three minutes left to play and wasted no time. Barely missing his first attempt from just over half court before getting a second look from the same spot but switching to his trademark underhand delivery. We were all going crazy. We were just jumping up and down, you know, doing what anyone would do, really. And just when everyone thought it couldn't get any better, one minute later, Aaron got to his spot. And with the cheerleaders and crowd spelling his name in a chant, sunk another one. We were praying that he'd hit, you know, one half quarter. We knew he wasn't going to go in and try a layup, but for him to drill two like that was just incredible. Oh, he looked like he was having the time of his life. Really put a smile on your face just to see him like that. It was the best day ever. This is the best day ever! A moment no one in the gym will ever forget, especially Aaron. Come on, yeah, come on. You got the TV and you fire the TV. Best day ever! He absolutely, absolutely had, had, a, had the time of his life. I mean, sure, you'll have some baskets that you'll remember, you know, but the whole day is going to be one to remember. He was, he was on top of the world, and then all of his teachers and everybody were waiting outside the locker room for him, and so I think that, was, that, that constitutes the best day ever in my book for, for him and for me, so it was incredible. I'm a winner. Aaron, yes. You are. In Lapine, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.